Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting video about Umayyad society, legacy, architecture, and downfall. So, let's start with Social structure of the Umayyad Caliphate The Umayyad Caliphate had four main social classes, Muslim Arabs, Muslim non-Arabs, Timis, and slaves. Muslim Arabs held the highest status and believed it was their duty to govern the conquered territories. They maintained a distinction from non-Arab Muslims. As Islam spread, the number of non-Arab Muslims increased, leading to social unrest. The new converts did not receive the same rights as Muslim Arabs, creating tension. Additionally, the rising number of conversions resulted in a decline in tax revenues from non-Muslims, leading to economic challenges. These issues ultimately contributed to the Abbasid revolt in the 740s. Non-Muslims in the Umayyad Caliphate, known as Dhimmas, enjoyed protected status but were considered second-class citizens. They paid a tax called jizya and acknowledged Muslim political supremacy. Conversion to Islam exempted them from jizya, and they paid zakat instead. While the Umayyads were harsh towards Zoroastrian adversaries, they offered protection and religious tolerance to those who accepted their authority. Umar II even commanded not to destroy synagogues, churches, or Zoroastrian temples. Zoroastrians in northern Iran maintained autonomy in exchange for a tribute tax or jizya. They coexisted with Muslims for centuries, and their religious texts were developed during the Islamic era. Christian and Jewish communities produced notable theologians, but many intellectuals eventually converted to Islam. This led to a decline in intellectual figures among non-Muslims. Noteworthy Christian writers during the Umayyad period include John of Damascus, Cosmas of Mayama, Pope Benjamin I of Alexandria, and Isaac of Nineveh. Non-Muslims held bureaucratic positions in the Umayyad government, despite being barred from the highest public offices. Sarjan Ibn Mansur, a Christian official, served as head of fiscal administration for Syria. He enjoyed favor from early Umayyad caliphs and was dismissed by Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan during efforts to Arabicize the administration. Sarjan also had a role in Damascus governance and revenue collection. Suleiman ibn Sa'd al-Kushani succeeded him as another Christian official. Muawiyah's marriage to Maysun bint Badal, a Syriac Orthodox Christian from the Kalb tribe, was politically motivated. The Kalb tribe, initially neutral, aided the Muslims against the Byzantines. Muawiyah treated Christians, Jews, Samaritans, and Manichaeans well. He even restored Edessa's cathedral after an earthquake. Peace and justice thrived in the regions under his control, according to Tom Holland. Umayyad Legacy The Umayyad Caliphate was a period of great expansion for Islam. The Umayyads, who were a powerful Arab family, came to power in 661 CE after the death of the fourth caliph, Ali. The Umayyads quickly expanded the Islamic Empire, conquering new lands in North Africa, Spain, and Central Asia. They also established a strong central government in Damascus, Syria. The Umayyad Caliphate was a time of great cultural and religious achievement. The Umayyads built mosques, schools, and libraries throughout their empire. They also patronized the arts and sciences and encouraged the development of new technologies. The Umayyad Caliphate is considered to be one of the golden ages of Islam. However, the Umayyad Caliphate was not without its challenges. The Umayyads were accused of favoring the rights of old Arab families over newly converted Muslims. They also transformed the Caliphate from a religious institution to a dynastic one. This led to a negative reception from later Islamic historians. Despite these challenges, the Umayyad Caliphate was a major force in the development of Islam. The Umayyads spread Arabic and Islamic law throughout their empire, and they helped to create a unified Islamic culture. The Umayyad Caliphate is an important part of the history of Islam, and its legacy continues to be felt today. Umayyad Architecture the Umayyads were a powerful Arab dynasty that ruled the Islamic world from 661 to 750 CE. 
they are known for their architectural achievements, which incorporated Byzantine and Persian styles. Some of their most famous buildings include the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem and the Great Mosque of Damascus. The Umayyads' architectural style had a lasting influence on Islamic and European architecture. The Downfall The Hashimiya movement, led by the Abbasid family, emerged as a subsect of the Qaysanites Shia and overthrew the Umayyad Caliphate. The Abbasids, belonging to the Hashim clan, were rivals of the Umayyads. Specifically, Hashimiya refers to Abu Hashim, a grandson of Ali and son of Muhammad ibn al Hanafiyyah. According to certain traditions, Abu Hashim died in 717 in Humaima while staying in the house of Muhammad ibn Ali, the head of the Abbasid family. Before his death, he named Muhammad ibn Ali as his successor. This tradition played a crucial role in the Abbasid's ability to rally the supporters of the failed Mukhtar revolt who had presented themselves as followers of Muhammad ibn al Hanafiyyah. From 719 onwards, Hashimiyah missions spread in Khurasan, focusing on proselytism. They aimed to gather support for a family member of Muhammad, without directly mentioning the Abba Sids. These missions achieved success among both Arabs and non-Arabs, with the latter potentially playing a significant role in the movement's expansion. Around 746, Abu Muslim led the Hashimiyah in Khurasan. In 747, he successfully initiated a revolt against Umayyad rule, symbolized by the black flag. He gained control of Khurasan, ousted the Umayyad governor Nasribn Sayyir, and sent an army westward. The Hashimiyah captured Kufa in 749, the last Umayyad stronghold in Iraq. They besieged Wasit and in November, Abul Abbas as Safa was declared the new caliph in Kufa. Meanwhile, Marwan mobilized his troops from Hiran, and in January 750, their forces clashed in the Battle of the Zab, resulting in Umayyad's defeat. Damascus fell to the Abba Sids in April, and Marwan was killed in August. Though some Umayyads in Syria resisted, Umayyad princes who launched revolts in late 750 were ultimately defeated. The victorious Abba Sids desecrated the Umayyad tombs in Syria, sparing only that of Umar II. Most Umayyad family members were hunted down and killed, except for Abd al-Ramani, a grandson of Hisham. He escaped across North Africa and established an emirate in Moorish Iberia. Claiming the true and legitimate Umayyad Caliphate, he asserted his authority in Cordoba, although this claim was unrecognized outside of Al-Andalus. The Umayyad dynasty in Al-Andalus would endure for centuries. Some Umayyads survived in Syria and made attempts to restore their regime during the Fourth Fitna. Abu al-Umaytir al-Sufayani and Maslama ibn Yaqub briefly seized control of Damascus from 811 to 813, declaring themselves caliphs, but their rebellions were suppressed. The rapid expansion of Islam contributed to the decline of the Umayyads. Mass conversions brought Persians, Berbers, Copts, and Aramaic people into the fold of Islam. These new converts, known as Mawali or clients, often possessed better education and civilization compared to their Arab rulers. The political landscape was transformed based on the equality of all Muslims. Additionally, the feud between Syria and Iraq further weakened the empire, according to Provitorton's argument. So, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.